looks so cool. Look. Good morning, good morning. Well, it's actually 10.51. Just getting settled in the morning. I'm not showing myself on camera because I am a hot mess. But I'm going to be making one of my favorite breakfasts. Um, one of the simple things that I like to eat. And it is a onion and spinach omelet. Alright, so I'm just going to start with this onion here. It's a little... So I'm just going to start with this onion. All right, so I have a medium onion that I'm just taking the peel from off of. And I'm just going to cut that in half. I love onion, so I'm going to use the bigger half, and I'm just chopping that up. Just in bite-sized pieces. And I'm just getting my pan, turning on a, my stove to a medium heat. And I'm going to be using some of the I Cannot Believe It's Not Butter, just taking a little bit. And at this point, I was just saying, bear with me, guys. This is my first cooking video. I should have brought the ingredients over. I'm showing you the spinach that I got, as well as the uh, mild cheddar that I got. Okay, just checking the pan, did a little dance. And at the time I was watching, um, uh, what's it called, The Heartbreak Kid, one of my favorite movies. So I'm just putting the onion into the pan, just giving it a little quick stir. I like my onions caramelized. Um, it's just something about the flavor of caramelized onions I absolutely love. So just giving them a quick stir. Mom, put in the dishwasher dishes in there. All right, I just got some coffee that I was sipping on. I'm just heating that up in the microwave, giving the onions another quick stir. And I was just saying the microwave is above the stove. Giving the onions just another quick stir. Again, I love the onions caramelized. It just the flavor is just great. Just give it a little close up on the cooking process. All right, now this time I'm just going to add just a little bit of salt and pepper to the onions. I like to add it towards the end. And I'm also going to be using two eggs for this omelet. Just giving them a quick scramble. Then I go ahead and put a little bit more of the I Cannot Believe It's Not Butter in the pan just to give it just a little bit more uh, flavor. Your pan was a little dry, then I add the egg on top of the caramelized onions. And what I like to do is I like to keep turning the pan, pushing the cooked egg towards the middle. That way the uncooked egg can go on the outside and cook. I just find this to be easier um, and get the egg evenly cooked versus putting the egg first and then the ingredient. Just giving you a close up on that. Just making sure all the egg is cooked. Usually when I flip, I do go ahead and break it in half, but all the pieces do come back, um, do combine back together. I cut the stove off at this point. I do add the mild cheddar. I love my cheese. Then I grab a nice handful of the spinach, and the spinach will wilt down with the heat of the cooked egg. I'm getting my last special ingredient that I love to add to my omelets. 
So I'm just putting it in a plastic plate. Yes, plastic plate, baby. <laughs> mm, look at that finished product. Yummy. And apple jelly. Yes, that is the last thing that I love to add to my omelets. Yes, I love apple jelly more than I love grape. I just take a little forkful.